Chairman, um, it's been about uh, 11 or 12 years since uh, I had a major fire burning in my district, and uh, they had had the, that was the same year as the rodeo fire, and I sat here and watched what the normal debates are here, which become very partisan, and I kind of blew up. And after that, George Miller, John Shadegg, uh, uh, McGinnis uh, from Colorado, and a few of us got together on a bipartisan basis, and we came up with the concept that ultimately, after a number of ups and downs, became HIFRA. Um, I don't think we are utilizing HIFRA to its full extent. Is there anybody there who thinks that the hazards, fuels, reduction uh, budgets are adequate. Anyone want to volunteer that? Anybody think it's adequate? Anyone want to tell me the last year you think it was adequate? I've been on this committee 26 and a half years. I remember asking the first chief in the first budget hearing back in those days, is there enough money in this budget for fire suppression and for fuel reduction? And he gave a candid answer, no. It's been like that for 26 and a half years. Republican administrations, Democratic administrations, you got these trolls down at OMB that don't think that hazardous fuel treatment works. Well, they don't live in the West. They've probably never been to the West. Now, you know, we have dramatic evidence uh, from uh, a collaborative forest landscape restoration program on the Deschutes Forest with results. This is a very, very high fire-prone area. I've got a cabin in that area. It's in Greg Walden's district. Um, it works. We know it works. They've had fires start, and they haven't become the conflagrations that we potentially expect on that side of the mountains. Uh, this is going to be a really bad year, uh, and there are just tens of thousands of acres that are pleading for this similar hazardous fuel reduction, and I, it's not happening. The money isn't there. I've got the map for Oregon this year. There's a few little tiny dots on it, you know, showing what we're going to do in the coming year. I mean, I wish I had, could put it up there. And when you compare it to the needs, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So I'd say the number one task here is to get some more money in there, fully utilize the tools of HIFRA, fully utilize the collaborative uh, process, which we do have. I do think that we, the, and I direct this to the Forest Service, I've been for starting with Mark Ray and now with this administration, I know I actually started with Jim Lyons through Mark Ray and this administration saying we need 20 year stewardship contracts. You'll, you'll only do 10. We need 20. If we're going to get people to do an investment in an area, a huge timber shed, if you have it, that needs fuel reduction, or we got them in Oregon, I know <laughs> other guys have them in their states. Someone's going to make an investment for a biomass plant or whatever in that area. They need more time to amortize that investment. But what it does for you is you can get someone who will charge less per acre to do the work because they're getting some economic value out of that crummy dead lodge pole that isn't worth anything to anybody else because they're turning it into uh, a usable product, electricity. Can we get to 20-year stewardship contracts? I mean, right now we're about to see stewardship contracts go away if this committee doesn't act. But do you think 20-year contracts to get that kind of investment, at least in targeted areas where we have high need in very large areas for fuel reduction, could work? We constantly hear from the industry that the longer term uh, is required for the investment that they'd have to make in carrying out the projects that we propose. So, uh, but can we get it? Uh, and that's another question. Have you asked for it? Have you asked, have you, as the administration sent down a request to us to look, I mean, we're looking at stewardship reauthorization. Currently, we've asked for reauthorization of stewardship. Okay, but can we, but you would be fully amenable if, if we were to augment that by giving you the flexibility to do 20-year contracts given local conditions and need for those sorts of investments to deal with those local conditions. We'd very much welcome working with you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hope we can move down that path. I think it would be an improvement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Amaday. I'm with Mr. DeFazio. I mean, 